Career Seeker Show live on WPPM LP Philadelphia 106.5. We're streaming live at phillycam.org. We're also broadcasting live on the East Coast Executive Facebook fan page. Wow, what a first half hour. Uh, my man Kahiga from the item came through. He is still here. We're going to keep him on deck, but we kind of did some, I guess, uh, some, some remodeling here, and uh, we moved the one and only Jody Brockington into, uh, into, the, into the passenger seat over here. <laughs> so she's, she's hanging out with myself, <laughs> Alberta Bertolino. Uh, this is what we do. We do the Career Secret Show every Wednesday from 4 to 5 here on 106.5. Uh, Jody Brockington. I, I, I'm so excited to have you. For, for our faithful listeners, you may recall that during Women's History Month, Jody came in and spoke to uh, the listeners about career and health. So we just decided, why not? Why not just bring Jody back, make her a member of the Career Seekers team, mm -hmm. and uh, have her come every month? And okay. we want you guys to work out more than once a month. But we're gonna have Jody, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have Jody every month. Just like kind of hang up with us, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Jody brought into Miss Manhattan. Let's yep, go. Yep. Right. How are you guys? Glad to be here. Yeah, Glad to know that I'm excited. coming back a few more times. Yes, <laughs> more than a few. <laughs> we're excited to have you. You've met Alberta Bertolino. Yes. Uh, you have not met Tiffany Sutherland. I think you guys may have met virtually, but uh, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure she's already an FOJ. Yeah, yeah. she's an that's FOJ. Right, yes, right. FOJ. By the way, you know what? This is the terminology you have to do. This is a new language. They can't yeah. hear This is like coding. That's right. FOJ is that's a right. friend, a uh, friend of Jody. Jody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a friend of Jody. Yeah. So. So uh, I'm we uh, her so she's in the camera. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Candace is taking up the whole camera. Yeah. Under, you know. <laughs> Diversity is big. There you go. Diversity is big. And you know what happens? See, Will's not here, so I had to have a super a intern then set, yeah. the, set the camera right on me. He said, where do you want, he, said, he said, where do you want the camera? I said, right on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you so, are the number one diversity. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, Miss Brockington. Yes. Uh, I am so glad that you made the trek up to New York City to spend some time with us. Uh, that just, that means the world to me. Uh, what is going on? Talk to us about... Uh, what the listeners should expect. Uh, I think we're looking at the every every third Wednesday, possibly uh, having you on, but uh, we'll we'll tweak and fine tune that. But uh, what should the listeners expect when they tune in and hear these segments from from the 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 incomparable Jody Brockington? Um, well, I think there is no mystery that the most successful in our you know survival of the fittest it goes all the mm. way back right if we went to Darwinism. <laughs> um, but did, the I idea... you, did I tell you she went to Berkeley too? Uh, no, 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 um, and so in careers and being successful, you have to be healthy. And that does not mean you have, it's not your size two or, you know, you have a six pack. It's the idea that you are healthy, that you can do what you've set out to do today and maybe some more. No one's going to hire you. Recruiters, you're tired, your eyes are puffy, um, you're breathing heavy. I have to think that if I'm hiring you for a job that travels, that you can actually make that O.J. Simpson jump yeah. over the this, over that. To, like, you're going to have to stay for an extra night. You're going to have to hey, find for, new clothes for, for, for our young listeners. For our millennials. That was like, you know, uh, yeah. that rock can make it through <laughs> the airport. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'd like to follow him. So I need to know I can chase him. Like no, I'll be chasing after him. Okay. All right. So, but the healthier, it's just healthy. So I also want to dispel the myth about size you know people come to me and they're like oh I want to be a size two and I was like you know you look at some people you're like you are never going to be a size two yeah. and that's nice I understand losing weight you want to do being healthier tone you want to do um you know men they want more stamina they want to be able to you know play ball with their kids or do this and uh, you know so everyone has their thing it's those things but it's for your career so it's the idea that you can stay up those extra couple of hours to make that PowerPoint, you know, that much mm. more exciting. To put this radio show together, it just doesn't show up. You know, you have to prepare, you have to prep, you have to make it till the end. Interviewing takes a lot of mental stability oh, yeah. um, as well as stamina um, and emotions, right? So even mental health is so important. Getting enough sleep. The last time 
I was on the show, I taught you asked me what was the most important thing of someone's house, and I said sleep. Yes. And I still suck at it. <laughs> like so, it's something I work on every day, and I gave people ways to work on it, which is you know you add a little bit of time each day, even if you're not sleeping, but to just stay in bed five more minutes. Right. Still. Not turning on the light, not checking your phone, not turning off an alarm. So, so that's just my challenge. I, you know, I'm actually in bed, but my phone is in my hand. Right. And, and so I'm not really sleeping, but I think I, I calculate the time as sleep time. You know what? I, I turn you in early. Mm -hmm. what, it calculates. Yeah, really? it calculates I have a Mickey fuel band. I mean, you can put it on your phone as well, but your phone, I mean, you know, I even don't have a television in my my bedroom is a bedroom yeah, yeah. Bed, me too a dresser yeah lights tv pillows, right. you know, books. Books. <laughs> and some books yeah. stuff that it's you against the world so even when you go back to if you've gone to college or even elementary school we all had a book that put us to sleep mm -hmm. i keep stuff near my bed that i know is not so exciting but i should be reading <laughs> um you know just to do that so sometimes it's sleep um and also just the stamina to be your best self and that's healthy. You know, yeah. we, we can't always bring our whole selves to work or to a workplace. Um, and it's often more difficult if you haven't had enough rest to really fully think things mm -hmm. through. You yeah. know, it's, it's also just like an angry parent. If they had thought something through, what their child did wasn't so bad. They were right. loud or they spilled something. Such a great but in that habit. moment, yeah. because you don't have enough time to process mm -hmm. because you don't have thinking space. Yeah. You know, so it's that same, same mental capability at work mm -hmm. and so when you guys interview I'm sure when you're recruiting you're looking for someone who's like bright-eyed bushy-tailed sure. excited sure. I want to be there you don't want the uh, yeah someone who's also checking off like okay I got 20 years and yeah. I got 14 <laughs> months to go like it's a death sentence you know you want that uh, you know person who can break it up and sometimes it's just in your day that you need to break things up yeah so, AB on, yeah. on your side of the desk doing corporate recruiting yeah um, have you came across candidates? Because now, see, you guys do, you recruit for some very physically taxing. Yes, yes, I work in the water industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so do you, have you ever, I don't know, I don't want to put you. So, no, it's explain okay. The, yeah, you no, know what no, I'm getting no, ready to ask, but I didn't yeah, want to be, I don't, I didn't in, want to put in out my a discriminatory business unit, No, it's okay. In my business unit, we don't have um, skills or uh, stamina testing, endurance physical assessments. But on the regulated side, on our in our company, they do. Mm -hmm. So there are. Okay, so there are some, some. So it's you know, I think what you're getting at is unconscious bias towards maybe a so, large person, larger mm -hmm. person, um, or even I, I, I had a case where one of my hiring managers didn't want to talk to a young lady who was only about 100 pounds. He didn't think that maybe she could do the job, mm -hmm. but you talk it through and give her a chance, and then yeah, so. But yeah, so we do do physical assessment testing okay. on, okay. on even though you bring that up for you know physical in that sense, but even with Kahiva, um, you know, the I think our tech, you know, our whole tech generation is also in a lot of pain. We're all oh, oh my gosh, yes, yeah, 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 you, right. um, everyone's Finger. holding onto their phone. Yeah. Yeah. So all of this, there's actually been trainings now that I've taken specifically on shoulders and hips, mm. interesting, purely because. You're sitting most of the day. Okay. Um, you also, a lot of tech folks don't seem to be very social. Nice. They tend to be introverts. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, depending on the role. And I'm not, this is not to stereotype. No, no, I don't no, want any hate no, 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 out there on my Facebook page. Right you know, friends of Jody. But, you know, the idea that it's a different kind of, and it's also a different mental process. Yeah. So you also need a break in your day. Mm -hmm. You need to get up. You know, everyone needs to get up but once in a while. Sure. Cool. And also, you know, pick up and do what they need to. Like, you have to touch your toes once in a while, get yes, up, stretch, yes. yeah. leave that computer. And sometimes that's hard, too. You know, you get used to it. It's like, oh, oh it's like a drug, right? you got to finish up that mm -hmm. coding. You have to Always finish up one that more project. Thing. And, mm -hmm. oh, I can stay a couple more hours. But this whole, the positioning. So, so it's health is so many things. And yeah. I think to your point, you know, if you're, if you're looking to advance in your career or just to be present in your career, you have to be healthy. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I think that's the thing that's overlooked. I wanted to touch on something for our listeners, though, something I heard through Kahiga and something I heard through Jody and something I consistently hear through Alberta. Uh, do you understand how important it is to always be a continuous lo learner? All of these professionals oh, we were just talking about this last night. They just, like Jody just spoke about a training that she, she took. 
and Kahiga spoke about graduating from this class. <laughs> and these are people that are professionals, but they're, they've still managed to continue to add things to the toolkit, to add different layers to what they bring to the table. And I think that's important for your career as well. So, and you know, as we explore these different topics with Jody and you guys submit questions and things of that nature, I just think um, as we do this from month to month, it'll be really important to just understand that as, as creating a quality resume or a quality LinkedIn profile is a piece yes. of that pie, mm -hmm. staying healthy, yes. these tips. The reason we do this is because we all need to focus in on this. A lot of companies are taking a stance against just unhealthy behaviors. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, you have companies that you can't get a job there. I think even at Jefferson, if you smoke cigarettes, right. well, you won't yeah. get hired. Yeah, the medical community yeah, has yeah, come up, but yeah. Like there's, there's some things out here, the world is changing. Right. Sure. So what are you doing to change to make yourself change a better it. candidate, right? Yeah, change with it. Yeah. So, Jerry, I just wanted to ask, because of our people are sometimes changing careers, how do you internal? How do you have people internalize the importance of yeah, the importance of the health factor? Is it being driven on the company side, or are there people in the work field who are looking for this for the service that you're providing? Um, I think it's both. I mean, I I train people. Uh, individually, I do a lot of conferences, so okay. you know, even if you want to add me on to one of your events, <laughs> sure. Um, but I think it has to be mostly personal or in, you know internal that you want it. Um, luckily, in large corporations, um, you know, when I was at Merrill Lynch, when I was, you know, a lot of them, they have a health department or a wellness area. Yeah, but people don't take advantage of it, right. just like they don't take advantage of the affinity groups, mm -hmm. you know, to really network. And I'm, I'm really more afraid and afraid in a, a, a negative, positive way of the next generation who are sitting at their computers, who are, you know, we're working more at home now. You're not around a lot of people to mm. really connect and touch. Um, you know, a lot of companies at best, best have a good benefits plan or a gym membership at a discount, but they're not really monitoring it. Mm -hmm. It's really self-monitored. So right. to be connected or back to networking and, you know, so I just feel like you have to, those meetup groups are good just to get out, you know, to find someone at every, you know, every day at 10 o'clock that you're going to take a walk with. It doesn't have to be strenuous. So, so you make a valid point. I have a, a close friend who told me when they started working in an office park in the suburbs, mm -hmm. they started gaining weight and feeling mm -hmm. less healthy yeah. because when they worked in the city, they would shop during lunch or go somewhere else to get lunch you or meet, meet someone. Yeah, yeah, they were doing so much walking. Yeah. Uh, I always laugh. I say, you know, the one beautiful thing about New York City, uh, you're probably taking the subways and you're probably walking from your trains to wherever you're going. Absolutely. Like, that, People don't understand how much in a day that will change your routine a little. Like you're going to walk a couple blocks just because that's that's the way you do. Like when you're driving up to a parking spot in front of a building and walking in the door, that's just a totally different mm -hmm. day. That's a totally it's, different routine. It's happened to me because this is my first job mm -hmm. in my entire career that I've driven to work. I've mm -hmm. always gotcha. lived and worked in Philadelphia. And so now I'm driving into South Jersey, and I have gained weight over this past year plus that I joined the company. And I'm trying to make a concerted effort to. AB, I'm not, here for you. I'm here for you. <laughs> I know. So. AB, not, not Selfishly to, glad it's Jody's here. Not to change the, um, the topic real quick. And, and Jody, I apologize for this digression. No. But AB, I wanted to share with you that I found out today that intern Allison. Yes. Has actually made it. She to went to New not Jersey. Not only New Jersey, but New York City. Oh my gosh, Allison! Allison is that is right. awesome. Allison has is made she it. She out there. She's she out has there. been yeah. here for three years. Yeah. Hasn't been in Jersey. She's been in Philly. I'm like, she's an know, intern extraordinary. Like you know, if you jump in that water over there, you'll, yeah, and yeah, you'll yeah. float over to Jersey, right? That's right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so so Jody, um, you know, again, so excited that that you're going to be offering this type of information to uh, our listeners. What we found is that a lot of people are saying, listen, I, I just don't have time to work out. So what what is your advice to people that say, I, I know you hear it all the time. I, I'm not very nice. It's oh. <laughs> one time where I'm like semi-Jillian Michaels, but I'm always like, you need, to, you need to make the time. I always say I'm not like, I'm not a czar like that. I'm not someone, you know, you really, I really only work on I'm one of the people who are self-motivated. By the time they've reached me, it's because they have an interview coming, it's a reunion, 
they finally know their doctor said if they don't do X Y Z, their diabetes or their high blood pressure is going like so. There's right. a motivational right. factor. Okay. So I'm not concerned with that, but it's like, like we need fix to me. make. <laughs> Jody, fix me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. And yeah. I'm like, I can't. You need like I'm here to make facilitate and check up on you, but and put a plan together. Like you know, everyone has a gym membership, but you we all have friends that go to the gym. And you wouldn't know they go to the gym, right? They look exactly the same. <laughs> and it's usually, and, it, and, I, and, and it's, you're laughing, but it's because no, they don't know, right. no, don't know what to do. We're, we're thinking of the people. Right. No, exactly. Right. We all have those. Yeah. I, I, I go to a gym, my, uh, listen, you know, my myself. Cousin, my cousin, my cousin uh, once said to me, he said, did they mean gym or gems? Like the, the cheesesteak place. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, did they mean uh, cheese? Uh, yeah, no, but yeah. the main thing is you need to make the time. And there's probably things that you're doing in your day that could count as exercise if you made it such okay. and you thought about it. So doing laundry is not just sitting mm. down, like you're picking stuff up, you're moving, cleaning out your, cleaning up your apartment or your home, washing your car instead of taking it to the wash. You said drive your car right up to the front. No, drive, yeah, drive, park it a few drive, blocks yeah. away and walk. Yeah. You know, in, in cities where you're taking public transportation, get off one stop before it. It's not bad weather, mm -hmm. right? So there's always one little thing you can do. These um, are the tips people, that you'll receive you know, consistently. Exactly. Really people say it. they don't have, you know, exercise equipment. You have a bottle of water. You got some cans in your cabinet. Nice. You got the <laughs> bag. Half the women, including myself, carry a, at least a five, ten pound bag around yeah, all day sure. long. Your bag. And they come to my class and they're afraid to pick up two pound weight. So I'm like, pick up your bag. You just, yeah. you just drop all ten pounds. You know, and you have to mentally think about that. You know, or they're like, oh, there's no more weights because my some of my classes are free, and so what's limited, you know, oh, right, is limited. I got you. I got stuff then I'm like well if you came here with a bottle of water pick it up pick it up just pick it up as we work out you know because you want to feel what it's like to carry extra weight that's sure. not yours you know and then take it away but gotcha. there's always time there's five minutes before your child gets up there's three more minutes before you walk in the door yeah. uh, before you get fully undressed there's always something that you can do you know there's something so as we uh, look forward to your upcoming segments what type of information should we expect uh, from you, can you? Are there any particular things that you'll be touching on, say, in the next month? Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely want to touch on health and nutrition, some good things to eat, some things to keep in your bag or at your desk or in your car, depending on yes, where you right. mowed and live. Um, you know, how to just mentally prepare yourself, some meditation practice, easy stuff that you can just close your eyes for two minutes. You know, you might not get a full lunch break. Um, you know, just also how to decrease some stress, um, just mental ability. Um, now, I want to speak about that because, you know, a, a lot of people, once fall comes and, and daylight savings and things of that nature, uh, they say that affects people mm -hmm. in different ways. So. Oh, I'm sure I have seasonal disorder. I need, I need sunshine. The days yeah. that it rains, it's like, oh my God, I hit snooze three more times. I'm like, oh, it's, it's not time to get, oh, it's still, it's still dark, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but it's really, that's when you really want to have a routine. And I call, I always say, uh, you know, to prepare for the, uh, the triple threat. The triple threat is Halloween, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and whatever winter holiday, <coughs> Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, 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 that you might celebrate. There's three of them that can add up a lot of poundage and how to prepare for that, uh, not only for yourself, but if you have families. Um, and in the office, things that you can do. There's a lot of candy dishes Absolutely, left out. Yeah. What can you put in those candy dishes instead of candy? You know, where to place them in your office. There's stuff. And then even just small, simple exercises, things you can do in your five-minute break or while you're trying to think of something. You don't always have to be sitting. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, you know, depending on what kind of mode of communication, you can walk around the office mm -hmm. depend, or walk around your neighborhood. Right. I work for myself, so... Uh, my office is wherever I am. Like right now, I'm in Philly. Um, <laughs> I right have two conference right. calls on the bus over here. It was great. <laughs> so, I, I, Jody's, at, Jody's having like this call. I jump in the car. I'm talking. And she like gives me a signal, but I'm paying no attention to it. So I just interrupted her conference call. I apologize to whoever she was on the call with. D Guns. Yeah, yeah. Just Best cycling in. instructor on the Northeast by far. I love it. I love it. Oh. Yeah, great name, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. you'd be afraid of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, AB, at your office, do they have the, uh, what are the desks called that 
You yeah, I was going to say that we do have the, sta well, the standing desks. I know they're called something else too, though, but a lot of people have been getting them. I think they're, so we're getting, it. Uh, we're building a new corporate office, and I believe they're going to put them in for every desk. They've determined that. So we also have um, stretching that we're supposed to do every day. It's, it's safety's our number one value, and if you're not healthy, that's not safe. So, um, so get up from your desk, do the stretches. We do, I've talked about this, talking you know, about, about the, the hands, yeah, yeah, the, the hand, hand stretching. stretching. Yes. Um, some offices take it to a, a bigger extreme than ours does, uh, where we sit on military bases running water and wastewater. I'm giving away who I, I always have kept secret away from somebody yeah, else. Right? Okay, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I went up and they, at eight o'clock in the morning, did a 15, 20 minute stretching exercise with this old school 80s video of awesome. these people stretching. It. <laughs> but it was the entire staff did it. And it was incredible and got their day started. Now my office, which is corporate, we do a three o'clock stretch. And we try to play music. We try to do it in different areas <laughs> of the like office. The seventh inning stretch. Well, pretty much, right? Right? Not going to be that. It's, it's good, good, good when it took root. You know, like that's it's what absolutely. they've been finding with this whole meditation yeah. piece in schools. Mm -hmm. And in, I took a transcendental meditation, oh, wow. um, which does not tell you how to. You know, the idea is that there is craziness going on. Yeah. But where do you find your calm? So think of it as like the ocean. You see the waves at the top, but if you went deep down below that same water. It's calm, so you bring yourself there, knowing your child's driving you crazy, your boss is that, like, you know, that's still going on up here, but mm -hmm. if you can bring yourself below that for a little while, once again, for that mental stretch, for mm -hmm. that mental break, right. to then be able to be kind of whole again, when mm -hmm. you kind of come out of that 20 minutes later or so, yeah, you're ready to kind of, oh, it's kind of like a nap. Yeah. Jo Jody brings so much energy, but I got I have this feeling that she's gonna be here on one of these Wednesdays and we're all gonna be like laying here. We on the can't floor, like, but we sleep. can't though. Because right? we're so relaxed. No, we can't. I don't Let's think get, we can yeah, but we're gonna she, she, she just <laughs> said she gets like Jillian Michael, so yeah, I, I'm I'm like, today well, my I'm personal just, training I'm client gonna... at ten, at nine AM, he was like, Oh my god, I'm so tired and I'm like but this was this is what's going to give you the energy. He's yeah. like, no, that's what motivates me. <laughs> yeah. He's, and I was like, because I know you're not rushing to your office. Like, you know, I know you don't really love your job right now. So I know you're, you know. But the stress. He's like, no, I need it for the stress. And I'm like, yeah. So stress stuff, health, nutrition, mental stability, you know, um, and anything that someone else might have. And also, um, if anyone would like to do a nutrophysical, which is really kind of um, it's an online test. Um, that kind of culminates about 50 different doctors. So if you went to a doctor's office for the first time, an OBGYN, a primary care, a dentist, an optetrician for your, you know, all, there's about, it takes about 20 minutes. Um, so the answers to these questions, it might be how much do you smoke? Mm -hmm. But all those doctors have a, re, have a thing that it leads to. So mm -hmm. your answer will then say, and it talks about what you may or may not be deficient in vitamins, yeah. um, things that we don't make, I have the sexy seven, Okay. Um, that I can talk uh, about. Oh, good. Um, we love our list. You know, and there's stuff <laughs> yes. that you just don't, that can actually be the cause of your weight gain, which is not the driving. Yeah. It, well, no. It's, it's, no, 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 no. I'm saying for everyone, it's a thing. Things. But there is like, you know, it could be vitamin D that you're just not getting enough of. You're, you're so tight, you can't sleep because you don't have enough magnesium or calcium mm -hmm. in your system to gotcha. draw it in. You know, there's little simple things, mm -hmm. um, and just making those kind of tweaks could yeah. make a change. And then, if anyone, I usually do a challenge. Yes. An FOJ 28 day challenge, FOJ which challenge. is my website, FOJ. 28 day challenge. I was, gonna, number I was gonna ask you to let it dot know how they can get in contact yes. with you. And you can get in touch with me at Jody at FOJ 28 day challenge dot com. Mm -hmm. um, You're on Twitter. And I'm on Twitter as Friends of Jody. I'm on Instagram as Friends of Jody. I'm <laughs> on Facebook as Jody Brockington and Friends of Jody. And uh, but you and can you can find me. There you go. And, 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 and LinkedIn as Jody Brock. Yeah. Uh, so I always yeah, say if you don't want to find me, you don't want to find me. And I <laughs> am the like, only right. Jody Brockington on earth. My stepfather keeps testing and checking. And <laughs> so luckily it's all good. So I'm trying to keep it in that space. But um, I usually do a challenge around um, October to help everyone mm -hmm. kind of deal with the. Uh, 
impending. Impending. Three. Impending <laughs> three. Yeah. 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 Well, so I look forward to you guiding us through those impending. Exactly. Three. And you don't have to actually do the full challenge. You can, but just some better healthy eating throughout. So that way, when those holidays come, because I'm always like, people are like, I can't do it because of my birthday, or I can't do. It. I was like, no, that's why you should do oh, it. Oh, that's why this month I can't because my birthday. See, it's your birthday. <laughs> that's so, I, I, I knew so, that. So listen, it, it's we're going to do this once a month. And we're going to keep filling you up with information. Uh, it's another edition of the Career Seeker Show. Fine, we do this every show. Wednesday from four to five here on WPPM. You don't LP. have you don't have uh, Will to say what it what is it? <laughs> Your gee is in a rap. Your gee is still a rap. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Career Seeker Show. I'd like to thank our guest today, <laughs> Kahiga, Tahiga, <laughs> Tiaga. I'm sorry, Kahiga Tiaga. Uh, I'd also like to thank Jody Brockington for coming up here and kind of hanging out with us. We're going to do thank this you. once a month. Thank you. On behalf of Philly Cam, <laughs> the Career Seekers team, Alberta Bertolino, Tiffany Sutherland, Will Martin, and Jody Brockington, we'd like to thank you, the listeners, the Facebook followers, the live streamers. It's the Career Seekers show. We do it every Wednesday, 4 to 5, live on WPPM LP, Philadelphia. Thank you so very much for letting us do what we do. It's another show, A.B. Wow, I can't believe it. Yeah. I can't believe it. Have a great week, everybody. Yes. No, because that's what I was going to say, too. The, a big show should just be on the mental stability and the stamina of going through for, for looking, recruiting, I'm looking, not, not looking for a job. Um, you know, that's actually how I switched it to the fitness side of it is because most of the women that I work with on career coaching took at least six months to a year to get another job. Oh. And during that, they would put on more weight and then they're not the best candidate, Absolutely. right on the other side. Yeah, right. So how do you how do you stay better than you were while yeah. you're depressed, while you don't have a job, yeah. and your savings are going, going that, you know, yeah. like that mental stuff of just how to stay strong through that time. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's why eating better versus eating worse, right? Correct. Instead of the ice cream that you're getting, your yeah. sorbet. That yeah, you're like, yeah. I'm not saying to cry, but yeah. you got to come up, you know, and also to stay connected and to go to these groups yeah, and to. You know, yeah. find a good recruiter. Don't like, isolate that's yourself. why that's right. when yeah. you're a recruiter and you're good and you've helped someone, what you've done has really changed someone's life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as small as it might seem to you because it's your job, mm -hmm. that job was everything yeah. for that person. Oh, yeah. Should I shut that? Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. You're good. Okay. I was like, what? Oh. <laughs> I mean, so your job is just like everything. Oh, I so see. you're like the, bar, the bartender outside.